Okay, hello. Uh, this is a tutorial for Jan Thiersen La Yonne, uh, the French componist. Uh, what I'm trying to show you here is how to play La Yonne on the piano. It's actually in a, an accordion piece, but it also sounds nice on the piano. Uh, I've tried to record this like 20 times now because it's 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 actually a very small and short song, but it's got some difficult things in them, so it takes like 15 minutes for me to show you how. Um, I want to do it in five. So I'll just give you a, a, a quick basic example of how this show, uh, the song is uh, built. And I think you just have to write it down or listen to the music a lot to really play it right. Um, left hand is very 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 important in this song because it, it's like the rhythm and the flow of the song is all done by your left hand um, what you have to do is to jump with your left hand um, which can be which can be very difficult uh, and only can only be done with a lot of practice I'll just show you the left hand um, it only exists of six chords which remain uh, uh, to be uh, repeated for the entire song. They just very easy. The thing is, uh, the rhythm changes. Uh, first part you play, and then in the I think it's called the chorus. The chorus part you play. So that's a difficult thing to change, um, but as you uh, go on and practice a lot, you can hear when to change and how to change, and you'll probably do it just very easy. Um, six chords, as I told you before. What are the chords? It's an E, E minor, or best friend, G major, some kind of a D-shaped chord, which is an F sharp, an A, and a D. Then. After that, some kind of an A-shaped chord, which involves an E, an A, and a C, and then some kind of a B-shaped chord, and that is an F-sharp, a B, and a D-sharp. That's it. Only thing to remember is that you have to jump. So what you're going to do is you hit the bass tone of the chord, which in uh, in our uh, thingy thingy is the, the the E with the E minor jump to the E chord. Same with the G, with the D, A, B. But then obviously you have to play in this rhythm. I have to jump, so that's pretty difficult. Uh, to do at the first time you play this song. Um, I told you before the rhythm changes on your left hand. So first it's then it's exactly the same six chords, only it's and the the rhythm changes when the chorus starts. I think it's called the chorus. Uh, and it continues with the three quarter notes throughout the entire song. So it repeats it. So the first part is which the entire uh, part repeats three times and after that for the rest of the song. So once you, you, you switch the rhythm it's, uh, it's pretty easy to do. Okay, first part of the song you just play Remember, we're play that. Uh, we're going to play that once, and then we're going to play it for the uh, second and third time with a rhythm on our right hand. And the rhythm sounds like this. Okay. Um, I'll try to play it very slow, but it's difficult to play it very slow. A 
again, um, I, it's too difficult for me and also for you to explain what kind of a, a note it is and, and, and what rhythm you have to play. You just have to listen to the song. I'll just show you the notes and then you have to do the rest by yourself. Um, but it's, it's, it, it sounds a bit like... Yeah, you get that idea. Listen to the song a lot and you'll get it. Okay, you're going to repeat that right hand part twice. So you have three times with your left hand, right? One times, one time without the right hand, two time, two times with a melody on your right hand. First time you play the melody, it's just like I showed you. Second time, instead of the last part where he plays, you play. So he runs toward the chorus. So he, it's kind of a bridge to, to, towards the chorus. It's a D sharp, uh, an E, F sharp, uh, again the D sharp, B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, and then the first note of the chorus is G. At the moment you push the, the G, when the chorus starts, you also change to this rhythm. And that keeps continuing throughout the entire song. Alright, first part. Now, the, the chorus part is... Actually, it looks a bit like the first melody line. Sorry, but uh, it's got a bit of a different rhythm and uh, different notes, obviously. Um, my, sheet mu my sheet music here tells me that you have to play it with a double note. So, I don't even know how to play that fast. Yeah, like that. I think that's, well, it sounds uh, fuller and warmer, but it's. Uh, well, I, I think the single notes make it nice, especially when you have some kind of a VSTi on your keyboard or, or some kind of a sound bank uh, from where you can change the sound to an accordion and just play the single notes and it sounds the same. Whatever you like. If you want to play the double notes, it's exactly like this. It's exactly the same, only just put two notes on the top, like that at the beginning and then with every note the same thing. Okay, after you've done that, um, we're gonna have to repeat the first melody line. Remember that one. We're gonna have to repeat that with, obviously, that rhythm, because it repeats into that out, out the entire song, but with the double notes. So, 